Scam about the student loan ACT signed by President Bola Ahmed Tanubu. I noticed some people are happy about the student loan. Some even said, Tanubu can continue, he is taking hard decisions. For that reason, I have decided to break down the smokescreen called student loan. It's just an attempt to remove education subsidy without causing an uproar. Now let's dive in. Who qualifies for the student loan? The simple answer is nobody. It's almost impossible for you to qualify for the student loan and here is why. Come open your eyes to this facts. 1. An applicant's or his parents must provide tax clearance. This is not totally bad till you see number 2. 2. The applicants or his parents must be earning total income less than 500,000 naira a year. Now slow down and do the maths. To earn 500k a year means that the husband and wife are earning less than 41,000 a month. That is 20,000 each. While minimum wage in Nigeria is 30,000 naira only. Which means if your both parents are earning, you are automatically disqualified because they are either earning more than 41,000 or they do not pay tax because you cannot pay tax on salary below minimum wage. 3. Now here is the high jump of the act. These two people earning less than 50k will now have to provide a director in civil service and a lawyer of 10 years in service as guarantor. Take into consideration, yourself doing good for yourself, do you know director in civil service? But that is not the worst part. 4. The director and lawyer has to surety that if you default, they will pay the loan. Do you know what means, no director will take such surety. But here is the worst part. 5. After you meet all these requirements, will you get the loan? No. The act said, loan will be given when funds are available. In other terms, you are still at the mercy of the system. In summary. If you add your father and mother's income monthly, it must not be more than 41k a month or 500k a year. Your father and mother must look for a director in civil service to surety your loan. The director will send his payslip document to the bank saying that if you fail to pay, he will pay. Who will do this one for you? Did I tell you that the bank MD will be the one to give approval? Bank MD. Did I also tell you that if you don't start repaying after two years of graduation, you will go to jail weary? Many graduate have not even gone to NYSC in two years after graduation. The worst part now is. School fees will go up above the loan amount because federal government has announced that they cannot continue to fund university. So if you are reading this, you are not qualified for the loan. In other words, palm wine tappers children. Bricklayer children, poor man children and so on children are not qualified for the loans. Think about it. 